Good morning and welcome to worship with us at home. Um, we are excited to worship with you. It's been a wonderful day so far. Uh, we just had our final outdoor worship. Um, God blessed us with another beautiful day where we were able to celebrate um, with Casey Tipton, his affirmation of baptism, his confirmation Sunday with his family and friends. So um, you'll get to hear a little bit more about that in the worship service, and I will post some pictures also later. So be sure to uh, look back on Facebook to see those as well. Also, uh, we give thanks that we have the Frischie family here to offer their gifts and their spiritual gifts for worship. So thank you to them. Uh, next Sunday, uh, we will have Linnell back with us uh, when worship at the 9 o'clock service. So for those of you who have been worshiping with us live, if you would like to worship with us live, you'll need to turn in at 9 o'clock next Sunday. Um, but if you like the 10 of 15 time, you can still get on at 10, 15, and it will be recorded, and you can view it and participate um, with the worship as well, um, then at the 10, 15 as well. Prayer requests, prayers of praise, prayers of pain, prayers of protest. If you have any um, added prayers that you would like prayers for on behalf of the community, you can go ahead and post those as well as you're watching, and we will lift those prayers up with you. Um, a couple added prayers that we received this week. Um, the first is for um, Joanne Feldwich. Uh, her husband died this past week, so please keep her and um, their family in your prayers. Um, also, uh, added prayers for David Blackburn. Uh, he was hospitalized over the weekend at OSU. Um, so as they discern how to move forward and help him, um, just ask for prayers for the doctors and nurses and their family in this difficult time. Let us prepare our hearts and our minds to worship Christ together this morning with the ringing of Trinity's bell. We gather here to worship in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, so that we may perfectly love you 
and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us now take a time of silence to confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even though we are dead in our sin and made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, now strengthen you through the power of the Holy Spirit, that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also, and also with, with you. you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the peace from above, and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who hear, offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, Comfort and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us turn to the prayer of the day. Let us pray. God of love, giver of life, you know our frailties and failings. Give us your grace to overcome them. Keep us from those things that harm us and guide us in the way of salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The first reading is from 2 Chronicles, chapter 32, verses 1 through 8. After these things and these acts of faithfulness, King Sennacherib of Assyria came and invaded Judah and encamped against the fortified cities, thinking to win them for himself. When Hezekiah saw that Sennacherib had come and intended to fight them in Jerusalem, he planned with his officers and his warriors to stop the flow of the spring that were outside the city, and they helped him. A great many people were gathered, and they stopped all the springs and the weighty that flowed through the land, saying, Why should the Assyrian kings come and find water in abundance? Hezekiah set, set to work so, and built up resolutely and built up the entire wall that was broken down and raised towers on it. And outside he built another wall. He also strengthened the Milo in the city of David and made weapons and shields in abundance. 
He appointed combat commanders over the people and gathered them together, together to him in the square at the gate of the city and spoke encouraging, encouragingly to them, saying, Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid or dismayed before the king of Assyria and of all the horde that is with him. For there is one greater with us than him, with him. With him is an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God, to help us and to fight our battles. The people were encouraged by the words of the king, Hezekiah of Judah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response of reading is from Psalm 106. Many times he delivered them, but they were rebellious in their purposes and they were brought low through their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their distress, he heard their cries. For their sake he remembered his covenant, and showed compassion according to the abundance of his steadfast love. He caused them to be pitied by all who held them captive. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and the glory in your praise. The Holy Gospel according to Luke, the 21st chapter. Glory to you, o Lord. Some of the disciples were speaking about this grand temple that was before them, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and gifts, and it had been dedicated to God. Yet Jesus said to them, as for these things that you see, the day will come when not one stone will be left upon another. All will be thrown down. So they asked him, teacher, when will this be? What will be the sign that this is about to take place? Jesus said, beware that you are not led astray. For many will come in my name and say, I am he, the time is near, do not go after them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for these things must take place first. The end will not follow, follow immediately. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes and various famines and plagues, and there will be dreadful portents and great signs from heaven. But before all this occurs, they will even arrest you and persecute you. They will hand you over to synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors because of my name. This will give you an opportunity to testify. So make up your minds not to prepare your defense in advance, for I will give you the words and wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to withstand or contradict. You will be betrayed even by your parents and your brothers by relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You'll be hated by all because of my name. But not a hair of your head will perish. By your endurance, you will gain your souls. This is the good news for you this day. Jesus said, the day is coming. 
A day is coming when you see that building over there and you will not be worshiping in it. A day is coming when nations and tribes, states, family members, neighbors will be fighting against one another and waving their own flags. When you see this happen, Jesus says, do not be afraid because this is just the beginning. They will also put you on trial for what you believe. Today, we were honored to stand outside and witness Casey Tipton confessing her, his faith in which he believes. It was a different way than maybe you remember your confirmation day. Often a practice where a chair was placed in the front and you were literally put on trial for what you believe. We joke about those days and those expectations, but I have to wonder today with all the trials, all the hardships, all the things that we see going on around us, had those days also prepared us to stand witness in trial to what we confess and believe that Jesus Christ is among us still today. Casey Tipton showed up here two years ago and he was the only new kid in the group. But that didn't bother Casey. He was eager to meet some new friends, which he did. When Casey was the only youth going to be joining the class last year, that didn't bother Casey. He had his new friends, and they showed up to be with him even though they had already confirmed their faith. They wanted to walk with Casey. And when Casey heard last spring that we couldn't meet in the building here, that didn't bother Casey. Instead, he invited us all out to his wonderful farm where we got to witness firsthand all of God's creation out there that he cares for. The bees, his horses, his cats and dogs, the hogs, the cows. Beautiful example of God's abundance right there in Casey's presence. And then when we hear, Casey hears that he couldn't do his actual confirmation, affirmation of faith here in this building that didn't bother Casey either because as we have witnessed in Casey, God's creation, the great outdoors is where Casey has experienced God's abundance in his life. And what a better place to celebrate that gift than to be able to worship with him outside today. You know, Casey has taught us all a lot about God's earth wisdom, God's earth wisdom of abundance. He loves and cares for all of God's creation. And I think that is a testimony to us all, what we can learn through Casey. Now, outsiders looking into us, worshiping in our parking lot, on a big Sunday like this, might say, well, why are you doing that? Outsiders looking in might say, you only have one youth. Outsiders looking in might say, you fill in the blank for you of the harsh words, the judgment and persecution you've had to endure lately from your brothers and sisters and community members. What we hear Jesus saying to us today from Luke is not easy to hear. 
Jesus is saying that we are going to face lots of persecution for what we believe. Jesus doesn't promise that our world and our life will be changed because of what we believe. There are times when our family will not be enough. Our church will not be enough. There are times when we feel as though we are not enough. Yet Jesus promises to continue to endure. By the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus says, your soul will finally find rest when you believe that Jesus is abundantly enough for you. And that's what we got to witness today when Casey came forward and shared his Bible verse with us. From Joshua 19, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord God is with you, and wherever you go, I thank God for Casey. I thank God for our youth. I thank God for this community who invests and believes and prays for our young people. God's abundance is surely clear to us. Be strong and courageous. And do not be afraid to testify to God's abundance in your life too. Amen. blessed me, thou hast brought me to this place, and I know thy hand will bring me safely home by thy good grace. Jesus sought me when a stranger, wandering from the fold of God, he to rescue me from danger bought me with his precious blood. Oh, to grace, how great a debtor I'm constrained to view you to be. Let thy goodness, like a fetter, bind my wandering heart to thee. Prone to wander, I feel it prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart, oh, take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above, seal it for.
We will now confess our faith together using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into death. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us now pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and all people according to their needs. Thank you, God. Thank you for showing us your abundance today in Casey and our young people in our church. Thank you for their testimony of endurance. Through the changing of seasons in our world, help us, God, to continue to testify to your abundance in our lives. Lord, in your mercy. Sorry, God. Sorry when, when we become afraid, when temples fall, we wonder what did we do wrong. When nations and kingdoms fall, we wonder what did our leaders do wrong. When earthquakes and famines destroy the earth, we wonder, Lord, is this a punishment? When family members and friends turn against one another, we wonder, Lord, what did they believe? So we pray, Lord, teach us your forgiveness. You told us these things would happen, and yet we still feel as though it's our responsibility to fix it. So help us, Lord, to surrender to you and to testify to your grace and your new beginnings. Lord, in your mercy. And please, God, please send the breath and the power of your Holy Spirit to renew our faith in you and our faith in one another. We praise you, Lord, for those celebrating birthdays and anniversaries this week, and we lift up to you Twyla, Gary, Tyler, Joan, Judith, Anna Kay, Richard, and Dorothy. We pray, Lord, that you bless their relationship with you and bless their relationship with one another. We also pray for those in our community in need of your peace and your healing presence, and we lift up to you David, Braxton, Gary and Sandra, Cindy, Autumn, Pastor David, Happy, Molly, Lois, Lynn, Eileen, Paul, Deb, our brothers and sisters at Redeemer Lutheran Church, and the family of Vernon Feldwich. We also pray, Lord, for those who are harvesting. We pray for a safe and healthy and good harvest. We also pray for the armed forces and all those you put upon our hearts today we name out loud or silently. Lord, in your mercy, we lift up all these spoken and unspoken prayers, trusting in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you all. I invite you at home to either post um, a word of peace to your friends that you're worshiping with or to wave and give a peace sign. For our time of tithes and offering, as always, we want to say thank you for your generosity and sending in uh, your gifts to continue the mission together. Um, today we are highlighting uh, our young people um, and we are uh, raising awareness and support for the next national youth gathering, which will not be happening now till 2022. Um, but we have a little offering bucket that we'll be putting out regularly to raise awareness and support. So if you would like to send in a little extra offering, um, just note on there it's for the youth, and we appreciate your support and your prayers of our young people.
So let us now pray together and give thanks to God for the many blessings God has given us. Blessed are you, God, maker of all things. Through your goodness, you've blessed us with these gifts, ourselves, our time, and our possessions. Use us, Lord, in what we've gathered in feeding the world with your love through the one who gave himself for us, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And let us pray our Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God now blesses us and sends us out together in mission into the world. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with favor always and give you peace. Amen. And Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, 